Alright guys, we're back with a new video on Marvel Future Fight as we go over the new characters that are in the game. The Warrior of the Sky. We went over the first three already. The last one we haven't gone over is actually Shadow Shell. And she's the one that is... I don't know. I mean, the thing is with her is like... Who named somebody Shadow and then Shell, right? I mean, it's kind of weird. And, you know... She's the only one I don't like that much out of them all Based on looks and based on everything I guess what I do like about her is she does poison and she lo she looks like you know She looks like she's part of Hydra like seriously. I mean she is She has a snake as her move and I actually used everything to level up the other warriors instead of her but she is here I don't know. I mean, we will figure things out if we want to level her up. As far as I know, obviously she has some good skill, but she has a lot of bad skill. So she's basically a dodging character, 30% guaranteed dodge, and she has immune to all damage for one second only. Keep that in mind uh, with the Venomous Roar. She does have a five second immune to all damage increase in attack for each 1% of damage taken. And that lasts for 10 seconds. I don't know if that's good or not. The fourth attack doesn't really have anything. It's a poison attack. And the passive. And then you have the serpent strike. It does the cooldown time for blast, shadow blast, and umbrella shot. And those are just poison attacks. So really nothing here, nothing here. I guess that's cooldown. You have poison. Nothing here. And the fifth attack is the only one that has something. That's what bothers me. I mean, obviously poison attack is very new to the game, in my opinion. I haven't seen any with that many poison attacks. But there's the Hydra I was talking about. The snake. I do like how, you know, her attack, a lot of them are flying in the air, which is pretty cool, right? So those are all of her attack. And plus, you have the dragon there. So she does an aura, right? An area damage with poison. So, anyways, that's all I got for her. I am not too crazy about her. Obviously, uh, I don't know much about the poison because I haven't mo used much poison in this game and I haven't seen many poison stuff in this game as well. That bleed, but you know, I, I just haven't seen poison that much. We will have to see how this thing turns out. But as I know it, you know, based on looks, I am not too crazy about her looks. All right. <laughs> I am just not. I am not crazy about her looks at all. Uh, based on attacks, most of her attacks are poison. She does have immune to all damage, which is great, right? She has the passive plus 50% increase of all defense. Decreases all damage received by 25%. So that's kind of nice. It lowers the damage. I prefer no damage at all. She does have, you know, guaranteed dodge rate. 90% to become immune to poison. I don't know what character uses poison, but she is the only one as far as I know for right now. I mean, obviously, there might be some other characters I've missed, looked at, but they can't be too good if I don't remember them, right? That's just how it is. But yeah, I mean, Shadow Shell is the last character I, I don't have anything else to take her up there as you can see and let me just go on over here the thing is with shadow shell is with the biometric selector you can get her so that's pretty good as well you know you don't have to spend that much you can just use the biometric selector and shit i should just use this one and took her to a six star oh boy now here is the big debate no, wait. I can still do it, right? Come on. Alright, I can still do it. I just used 10 bomb entrants. I might as well just take her to a 6 star. I mean, there's no other better character to take to a 6 star anyways. Alright, we got her into a 6 star. Yeah. So she now is 6 star. Oh yeah, these are from Christmas, if you're wondering. And I will always need her bomb metrics. 
So there's that. Because I need to upgrade her, right? And I can't get Blue Dragon in here, so what's the point of that? So let's get Shadow Shell, Biometrics, and, you know, we need to get her Mastery up there. If I can find her, I don't even know where she is anymore. So let's favorite her and do the Mastery. Now we have all the characters in 6 star. So that's kind of good. It's just that they're all level 1. And I'm too lazy to level them up. Except for actually War Tiger. I don't know. I like War Tiger a lot more because he has heal. If he didn't have heal, oh, I don't know if I like him. Alright, so let's see if this thing changes that much. Actually, these things are pretty much, you know, there's nothing different there. So, damn it. So she's level 1. And let's just get her to like level 40. But so far, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, you know, I think War Tiger is either the best or second best. The thing is, there's Sunbird. I haven't really used much, so I haven't figured that one out. But, you know, as far as I know, War Tiger can heal, and that's something I like. But Sun Tiger can revive. Blue Dragon, ah, uh, you know, I like how she looks and all, but... And she has a lot of attack increases, but, you know... When when you're dying, you need to heal, man. If you can't heal, I don't know what to say. Like, that's just how it is. So let's put her in here, and we will do a normal story. Actually, I can't do a story one. They, they removed the story. Look at this. I'm back at zero. What the hell? All right. So, anyways, I will do this run, whatever this is now. I don't want to do this. I, I just want to go into a uh, stage. Interesting. So, they really changed how this thing works, which is very interesting to me. And, you know, one of the reasons why I don't like... Holy shit. Okay, never mind. That that stage is just too dangerous for a six star. So, I can't do anything. I was hoping for a low level stage, but I can't do that now. And they changed how the story works. So, I guess we're going to have to play the story mode again and see how that is. I wanted to see how she plays, but I can't do that anymore. So that kind of sucks. And I wanted to see her finishing screen, right? The only character that can fight here is Juggernaut. Everybody else is pretty much... Holy crap. Even if we bring her in here, I doubt she could do any damage. Look at it. Juggernaut is doing barely doing any damage. Swap! Damn it, it won't let me swap. Alright, so they changed that. Oh, I'm level 40, that's why. I'm not even level 16 yet. Huh. Alright, so anyways, that's all for now. I just wanted to go over... Uh, the character with you guys. That's my opinion. That is Shadow Shell. In the game.